What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of the Realistic Career Mode, it's episode number 40, massive victory against Leeds in the last episode, still sort of table, 9 games to go, but just one point separating us and Chelsea, I'd say the 4 horse race is looking quite likely it might become a free horse race uh, at this current point, depending on how Man City get on in their game in hand, but uh, we also got today uh, massive games in the league, plus, plus... Both the Champions League quarterfinal first and second legs away in Spain in Madrid first against Real Madrid and then the reverse fixture at home and the FA Cup semi-final against Manchester City at Wembley as well. We'll either finish on this one or play Burnley away at Turf Moor. So loads to get through. We're going to crack straight on. Our first game is indeed the Blaze, top by a point and need to keep on winning if we are to keep Chelsea at bay. Massive game to start off with. Come on, Liverpool. So this is definitely the biggest episode of the series here. No doubt about it. Uncharted waters for Doxy Boy going into a, uh, a Champions League quarter final against Real Madrid. Definitely underdogs, no doubt about that. And uh, whilst we, we did win the Premier League last year, of course, scraping by, a treble is still on. Uh, whilst we often use the phrase, one got to one gotta go, I don't want one to go, <laughs> you know? I really want this, man. But it's it's gonna it's gonna require a bit of luck for sure, man. We've had a lot of injuries this season, can't afford any more as Musa tries his love from range. Pena parries and Diaz's crosses palm behind over his own bar and put behind for a corner. And when when you go into moments like these, I always try and stay calm. I always try and stay calm with, with my audio and my gameplay. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, there's gonna be some big games today. But in reality I'm like, right, come on, I need to win this! So, you know, I'm trying to keep it calm. <laughs> Gone. What a strike. Cody Gakpo. But I do want to see that on the replay because I think in Yaki Pena possibly should have done better. Just made a good save earlier, but I think he probably should have got... Oh, no, maybe not, to be fair. Initially, I thought... Oh, he does see it through. No, no, no. It's a wonderful strike. Absolutely wonderful. And the Spaniard beating all ends up. No, nope, I'll take that back. It's a glorious effort. Liverpool lead. I'm not sure if that gap post strike was as good as the Mac Allister one against the Blades on Thursday night in real life, but it's definitely up there. Keeper sees it late, certainly can't criticise him for it. And hey, as Diaz gets away, he's there, keep running. Hold on to it. That's fine, that's fine. And uh, a goal of just as much importance as it will keep us top of the table for now. With Ben Doak, Muski running. Oh, it's a lovely build up. Oh, what a wonderful goal that's going to be! Ben Doak with the second, and Liverpool double up just after the hour mark. Yeah, I know what you're all thinking. I know what you're excited to see. Me absolutely blowing the finish after a really nice move. But on this occasion, I managed to keep my composure. Lovely passing move. Stefan releases Ben. And oops, didn't mean to press extra. Puts it into the top corner. Liverpool stay in top. Wonderful strike from range. Wonderful team goal. Scoring a variety of ways, but getting the job done here in Yorkshire. Well, considering how tight this title race is, it... Oh, well said, Anderson. Could come down to goal difference, which means that holding on to a clean sheet like that, scoring the second goal like we did, could prove to be vital. But of course, the most important thing are the wins. Win the remaining games this season, win the Premier League title. One down, eight to go. Massive three points there. And I believe that Chelsea... Oh, yes! Well, Man City beat Brighton away, but Chelsea were held in a West London derby goalless draw. And I believe Arsenal play... No, that no, we had a game in our them, didn't we? We didn't have a game on us. So, gap is free. Gap is free. Slightly worse goal difference, but... Yep, destiny is in our own hands. Win our final eight. Even win seven of our eight and get one draw. And we are champions. It's, it's ours to lose from this position here. Yep, next up, Aston Villa at Anfield. We lost to them at Villa Park. Only one of our four losses this season. Let's hope they don't beat us back-to-back -back this year and stay top of the table. Come on, Liverpool. This game coming just three days before our trip to the Bernabeu. Had to rest a few players for this one here. And that's, whoa, what am I doing? That's poor, really poor. It's going to be 1-0. Oh, thank God for Alisson. That was an amazing save. 
to keep us still tied. Lucky, lucky. And I always say this, I, I hold my hands when I'm saying I've been lucky. And Salah, he's not got a blistering pace anymore, but he's got enough! Had to rest some players today with that first leg of the Bernabeu coming in the week. But even in his retirement year, he's still got the quality. Mo Salah with the opener. Just seen Man City taking a the lead there. Phil Foden with the early opener 24 minutes in. So they'll be trying to stay in this title race for as long as possible. But I, I often say this, like you should never, like if you're, if you're going for a title or a top four place, whatever, don't look for favours, you know, don't, you know, you can hope for favours, but don't expect them, you know, just do your job. If you do your job, you'll be fine. Oh, what a save, Alisson again. A pen to control, worked into the middle and Tav, Marcus Tavernier, ex Jerry, who we sold to Aston Villa, fires in the level up. Yeah, just do your job. Do do your job and don't worry about what's going on elsewhere. But we were doing our job. Alisson certainly doing his. Couple of great saves today, but rebound turned in. Villa with the leveller. Okay, all right. This is a very good Aston Villa team, as we know. But typically, first goal of the season for Tav, and it comes against us. Diaz. They've backed off him. Shot blocked. Moose is shot blocked. Salah shot blocked. And Zinchenko hoops it away. Easy, easy. Watch that through ball. Watch that through ball. Oh, he's gone the other side. Shalanolu. There's a pender. Oh, he put me on the floor. And oh, what a finish from a tight angle. What a finish. And Villa come from behind to lead. Look at this, man. I, I thought, first of all, I thought the through ball was going to the left. And sorry, to the right. And it went to the left. And then I thought the shot was going to come in and it wasn't. And then from a tight angle, what a finish. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, 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 oh. Uh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Gapri's onside. Yes, what a finish. Okay, pick the ball up, pick the ball up, pick the ball up. Don't celebrate, don't celebrate. Pick the ball up. It's still going to be two points drop, man. 15 minutes to find a winner. Well, in the Premier League era, Liverpool have not won back-to-back -back titles. So whilst we have won one, winning it last year, I say this a lot, in career mode, sometimes when you win one trophy, you don't feel like you need to win it again. But to be the first and all for manager to win back-to-back -back Premier Leagues in this era. Yeah, I, uh, I, I would love to write my name into uh, Liverpool folklore. Big slip up there. But the question is, how did Chelsea and Man City go? Because I saw Man City were actually trailing towards the end of that game. And they drew 2-2. But Chelsea lost. So that's an extra point on the board. Man City cut the gap on us by two. But... We do go one extra point clear off Chelsea. And let's see how Arsenal get on as well. I think they were playing on the Sunday. And okay, there we go. So we're gaming hand on Arsenal with seven clear of them. I have to say, it's going to be very hard for them to make it now with that gaming hand and the far worse goal difference record to us. But four clear of Chelsea, nine clear of Man City, no gaming hand for either team. I'm not saying it's a two horse race, but. Whilst it is two points dropped, we still gain a point on Chelsea. Seven to go, it's still our title to lose here. Right, here we go. This is it. Probably the biggest game as Liverpool manager so far. Champions League quarterfinal first leg away against the best team in Champions League history. Most successful team. Nobody's won it more than these guys. Real Madrid as we take them on at the Bernabeu. Right now, second in La Liga. Probably not going to win the championship, but certainly one of the fairest to win the Champions League. Uh, they're lining up in a 4-1-2-1-2 diamond narrow with Courtois between the sticks and about four is Swansea legend Amar Delic, uh, Militao, Kim Min Jae, and Nuno Mendes at left back. Uh, Montero, a new gen, is at DM. I'm not sure who that is. And the midfield duo of Valverde at 92 overall and former Liverpool midfielder Dominique support Jude Bellingham further forward. The top two, Rasmus and Vinicius. First leg, rounded away. Just don't be out of the side heading back to Anfield. That's my plan tonight. Come on, Liverpool. Of all the grounds in world football that I am desperate to visit. You know me, I'm a stadium nerd. Um, I think the Bernabeu is probably the biggest of them all, you know, especially in this redevelopment era of the stadium too. Oh, great save, Alisson. Take your time, take your time, take your time. Uh, that's brilliant. <laughs> Not quite. That's how you know this guy's got amazing vision. He's still saying, I, I didn't myself there, but uh, yeah, I think the Bernabeu is a stadium I want to visit more than any other, man. So many iconic grounds I'm still yet to go to, but the Burner Bay, if I could only visit one, if I was going to die next Wednesday, for example, and, and God said to me, right, I'll teleport you to any stadium you want to go and visit, go on, which one? I'd probably say the Burner Bay. Tough, tough, because there's a few others that I really want to go to, it probably would be the Burner Bay. Anyway, great save, Alison, Vinicius. 
on the turn. Looking for space. Finds Rasmus and oh, squeezed it in. I thought I marked perfectly there and jockeyed. Barely allowed space for the Scandinavian striker to take game. But this is the AI and Ultimate. All they need is that little bit. Just gave him that little fraction of space there when I was so concerned about Vinicius. I didn't see Erasmus to the right. Real Madrid in front. And they lead right before the break. Well, I just said in the first leg, just, just stay in the tie. Stay in the tie. Other than that one lapse of concentration there, we've, we've been doing all right. 45 minutes to go. Just stay in the tie. That's what it mate. And now, Ubercar. Jones. Eunice! Oh, what a save, Courtois! Well, he's come up big on more than one occasion for me, Eunice Musa. I thought he just provided another big moment. Great stop by the Belgian. And still, we trail by one. There's a Berechi, keeps hold of it. And ah, come on. We're actually in the final 15. Still in this, but we just can't afford to concede a second. Trading 1 0 heading into the second leg. We're still in this, but go 2 0 down, and that's going to be hard to come back from. So it's one of those moments where it's like stick or twist. Do you take the L knowing it's not that bad in the grand scheme of things? Oh, well in, Trent. Yep, that's fine. Hey, hey. Curtis Jones! Oh! Oh, you can see the reaction. What a chance. What a chance, but he completely hooked it. No, 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 no. Come on, don't go 2 no down. Don't go 2 no down. This is going to be a real sucker punch. We could have leveled it. Jude Bellingham. Oh, wonderful dribbling. What a save, Alisson. And it's put behind for a corner. As the captain keeps us still down by one. But that's, that, that save can't be on the stage. If that goes 2-0, it might well be the sucker punch for the tie, let alone the game. No, 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 Kim Min Jae's not going to score from there. It's it's still 1-0, but we're, we're still in the tie. I said just stay in the tie. Stay in the tie. Oh, that's fine. Come on, don't concede a second late. Yeah, yeah, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Stay in the tie. Job done. It's it, Listen, there's been some great European comebacks at Anfield in the Champions League knockout stages. Just ask the likes of... Well, there's quite a few teams to name here, <laughs> but I guess Barcelona are one of the most famous. It's it's not done yet. We're still in this. Moving on, Manchester United away at Old Trafford as we aim to return to winning ways after none in our last two. With a chance here to go further clear at the top with some tough games for the chasing pack as well. Big contest here as we aim to return to winning ways. Come on, Liverpool. So a little bit of behind the scenes as this game gets underway. Uh, this is my second attempt playing it. I just got five minutes into the game and my PlayStation turned off. Now, that's the first time it's ever happened to me and I'm hoping, fingers crossed, right now in the UK we're experiencing some very stormy weather and uh, the region I'm in, the northwest, is uh, experiencing the brunt of it. And I'm hoping it's because of the storm and not due to a hardware failure. So I turn the PlayStation off. <laughs> Let it calm down for 20 minutes, made a cup of tea, turned it back on, and thankfully my heart was in my mouth when I pressed the PS button on the controller, it turned back on. And of course did warn me about unplugging it before you turn it off properly. I was like, bro, I didn't touch it, it just happened on its own. Fingers crossed it's okay. Anyway, Liverpool leading by a goal to nil. And in front of Old Trafford, massive game here to try and pull away at the top. Tired legs. Boys have got to come through this, give everything they've got. And with Real Madrid on the on the week. I will want to take some starts at some point, but most importantly, focus on the job at hand. Get the three points here and return to winning ways. You know, full disclosure, I'm all about transparency on this channel. Um, as Greenwood steps inside and finds Harry Kane, great save by Allison and turn behind for a corner. I'm, I'm just very hopeful that it was indeed because of the storm or I'm not sure, maybe, maybe overheating. It's actually quite warm despite the stormy weather today. Because um, if, it if it is a hardware problem and I'm going to need to buy a new PlayStation, I hate to say it, guys, but the save might go on a little little mini break whilst I, uh, I scrape the funds together, look down the back of the city for a couple of pound coins <laughs> um, in order to buy a new PlayStation. Fingers crossed, touch wood. It's, um, it's again, not going to be a, a hardware fault, if you will. 
I've had this PlayStation for four four years now since the uh, since it was released. Though it's given me great service, man. So whenever it does give up the ghost, I won't be annoyed. I'm just thankful for all the years, man. You know, still leading by one after a good stop by Allison. More goals to come today, though. Diaz, what a save, on her. You got definitely more goals to come today, no doubt about it. You can just feel it. Do you know what I mean? So, so games you play, they're just so open. You just know there's not just going to be one goal. There's going to be more. And as we press for a second. That's a great delivery by Diaz, but no one on the end of it. So seven after the restart. Still leading by one. Got a foothold after we surrendered a decent chance for the hosts. Since then... We've been all right. Looking comfortable on the ball. That's really important when you're away. Oh, that's got to be a red. That's got to be a red. Curtis Jones scythe down. That's got to be a straight red. Never mind the position on the pitch. That was an awful, awful foul. Yep. Straight red card. I die her off. And that is surely going to help us see out of this game. That's, that's one of those fouls. It's like, what on earth are you thinking there? Like, seriously. It's, oh, that's late. Thankfully, right down the back of the car for Curtis Jones. That, that, that's going to be very, very nasty. Thankfully, for all the injuries we've had this season, I wouldn't be surprised if there was another one there. Instead, Curtis is all right. But now, man advantage. I think we should be able to close this game out from here. Mason Mount. Back to Fakayo. Chelsea Academy grads now here at Old Trafford. We're sure as we're going to get away from getting... Oh, no, 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 no. Why? Don't. That's... Go right, go right, go right. Go right. It's Tomori, it's a two-on-one. It's going to be an easy finish. Yeah. If you're, going to, if you're going to bring the ball out of defense, you're playing a risky game on its own, especially against a high-pressing team like Liverpool, but even more so when you're down to 10 men. Listen, I love bravery from defenders, bringing the ball out from defense and moving forward with it, but you're asking for trouble in a scenario like this. Cody wraps it up 2-0, and now I can take my starters off with the Real Madrid game of the week, and thank God, because Gakpo is absolutely exhausted. 16th of the season for Cody Gakpo, and... Oh, ah, probably should have been 3-0 there. And that provides the dagger. Liverpool staying top, and I'm pretty sure we were all playing on the same day as well, weren't we? So directly after the game on the back of a huge win there. Gassed, exhausted, tired. Still managed to come through with a win. We shall see if any teams did us a favour here. I think it must have been lunchtime kickoff then. So we'll see after the game who did what around the grounds. And I've got a feeling, once again, we might have seen another slip up here. Fingers crossed. No, it's still four. Still four. Seven clear of Arsenal. Though we do have a game in hand. And 11... Oh, Man, Man City now. I think Man City are out of it. 11 clear of Man City. It must have been held. You got 2-2 two, two draw away at St. James's. Are we already even kick off? Yep, it's it's definitely, I would say now, I'm not going to rule out Arsenal completely, but I would say mostly a two-horse race. But this is probably the biggest game of this save so far. Second leg of the Champions League quarterfinal at home to Real Madrid. Lost the first leg of the Burn about 1-0. It's still in this. And as we know, there's been some great European comebacks at Anfield. Heading into this game, I'm hoping we'll be able to deliver one ourselves. Um, Real Madrid lining up with a couple of changes to the team that beat us last week. Uh, same 4-1-2-1-2 diamond narrow, but they've now got Jude Bellingham. Uh, sorry, Jude, uh, James Madison, sorry. Bellingham's there too, but Madison is coming in at CM ahead of Dominic. So otherwise, the same lineup. Second leg, rounded at home. Players are gassed heading into this one. We've got to channel everything we've got if we're to overcome the deficit and make it through to the semis. And I still believe, let's go do it. Come on, Liverpool. Yeah, there's been some iconic moments at Anfield in European football. There's been some incredible comebacks delivered by this club. None greater than, of course, the 3-3 free -free, uh, draw against AC Milan in the Champions League final where they were 3-0 down at the break. Greatest CL comeback in history, in my opinion, to go on to win it. As Alisson makes a good save there uh, on penalties. A lot of people forget this as well, but in the group stage, I think I mentioned before, in the group stage, it was the same season where Liverpool were on the brink of being knocked out in the group stage at home to Olympiacos when uh, Neil Mella, there's a throwback, uh, lovely cushion header to Gerrard, still remember that piece of commentary, and Steven Gerrard delivered the goal that sent him through to the last 16. It was one of those sort of like sliding doors, butterfly effect moments. What might have happened in world football had, uh, had Neil Mella not played that wonderful little knockdown to Steven Gerrard who banged in the winner? I guess we'll never know. But uh, even so, they're going to channel one of those epic European nights at Anfield tonight ourselves. It's going to be tough, but again, I, I still think we could do it. The key is not conceding early. Already, Alisson's had to make one save. 
And that's our mole ref, come on. Okay, fine. Um, we uh, we just need to make sure we stay in this tie for as long as we can. And while we're only down by one, there's plenty of game to find that leveler. Diaz, I'll see you. I see you. Obviously, keep running. Oh, what a massive interception. Come on. If Neil Mellor doesn't cushion that header so softly for the path of Steven Gerrard, that goal never gets scored. Liverpool go out of the Champions League. They don't go on to win it that year. D does Steven Gerrard join Chelsea? <laughs> you know, it's one of those moments where you're like, hmm, what could have been? You know, what could have been? How, uh, how football's timeline could have changed so drastically had Neil Mellor not been involved. <laughs> Who would have thought, eh? Anyway, right before the break, still down by sorry, still you know, still down by a goal on aggregate, still tied at 0-0 tonight. I see you get a in the middle! Oh, off the post! Oh, that's gonna deflect and get cleared away. Tens first off, Alisson with a good save, Woodwork round, still 0-0. I do think someone's gonna score. If we get it, I think we could change momentum with a tie-maker through to the Final Four. If Real Madrid get it, that'll be the dagger. That'll be us heading home in the last eight. 45 minutes to play in a very tense second leg. Finishes. Oh, thank God, straight at Allison. Just about got away, but the shot wasn't the best there. But, ah, oh, second half, I'll be honest here, the second half, I've, I've barely been out of my half. Real Madrid have got me where they want me penned and struggling for energy, possession and most crucially chances Federico Valverde holds off, Vinicius oh, Jarrell keeps us breathing with 13 to go problem is we're out of energy, absolutely out of energy Boobs is shattered Cody is basically completely out of energy, same with Luis Diaz we've got the FA Cup semi on the weekend as well as Kwanzaa does well but Gakpo can't get away Stefan through the gap Wonderful from Gakpo. Oh, I just couldn't squeeze her. He's, he's, he's completely out of energy, man. He's done. And with seven to go, I think it's over. Get out, get out, get out. Good play. Oh, come on. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get there. Bellingham. Vinny. Vinny. Dispossessed and cleared, but I can't get out. I, I cannot get out. Absolutely gassed. Oh, not Dominic. Not Dominic. Alisson with the save and Trent just has to put it behind. Yeah, heading into the final minute. I've, I've taken the starters off. Oh, Salah off the line. And yeah, I'm not, I'm not even going to try and deny it, man. You know me. I'm all about transparency. Like, we have, we have just not had the energy in the second half to compete. Real Madrid have known. We're gassed. We're completely depleted. And it was theirs to control from the break. And nil nil second leg at Anfield. We held them. But we couldn't beat them. Progress ends in the quarterfinal in our first year back in the Champions League. It was always going to be a tough tie. It was always going to be difficult with the lack of energy. And in the end, we just ran out of steam. One got to go. One has gone. Treble dreams end tonight. I mean, for just our second year in a rebuild, I think, I think we've done all right to get there. But the manager, you see there, might, might have seen it drop quite a bit as we, uh, we exit there, right before that FA Cup semi. And, well, we would have taken on Barcelona in the final four had we made it through. So it would have been just as tough with them going for La Liga right now. Repeated a 2012 CL final and an El Clasico semi as well. That's a cracking final four that. Yep, the treble hunt has ended, but I often say this when your objectives have failed. You just need to pick yourself up, dust yourselves off, recalibrate, and move on to the next thing. That right now is the double. And heading to the following game, this is the FA Cup semi-final against Manchester City at Wembley. They themselves are on the prospect of a trophy of the season and will have one probably if they are beaten by us today. So massive pressure for both teams here at Wembley. Uh, Man City lining up in a 4-3-3 attack with Castells between the sticks and the back for us, Hakimi, Araujo, John Stones, who's still there and Ben Chilwell at left back uh, Nunez and Rodri are the CM duo sporting KDB and the front three Rooney Bargy Erling Haaland and Phil Foden a fantastic Man City team following game FA Cup semi-final tired legs but got a soldier on there's no second chances in cup football as we know as you try and make the FA Cup final for the first time since we joined Liverpool come on Liverpool yeah I often use the saying one gotta go one gotta go 
Uh, I don't use the saying lightly, but sometimes it is necessary to sacrifice one to go for the other two. And in this case, the Champions League, the draw did us no favours really, having to take on Real Madrid. The toughest team we could have faced, I would have said, as Diaz sends Robertson down left hand side. Lots of tired legs, injury hit season this year. We'll win the early corner there, wouldn't it, Andy? Yep, this year, first year back in the CL. Say you were knocked out by Real Madrid in the quarterfinals. Yeah, no one's going to be that disappointed, even though the board probably still will be a little bit. Just got to make sure now we, uh, we make the final here and hold on to the top spot in the Premier League. That's the saving grace. Yeah, Musa winning, mate. Gapo go left. He's on. Oh, surely. Oh, no, Diaz, why did you stop? Why did, well, first of all, Doxy, you moron. Why didn't you shoot? Diaz, mate, just, if you, okay, all right, it's, it's my fault. It's my, I'm not going to blame Luis Diaz for that. It's my fault. Just shoot. Forget the cutback, man. It's Cody Gakpo. He's bang on tour winner, Doxy, boy. Did you forget? That's silly, that, from me. Trying to cut it back for a simple finish. When I already had one with Gakpo. Oh, if I go a goal down here, I'll be fuming no Robertson went in. That is a massive missed opportunity. Blown right before the break. This has been an unbelievably tense semi-final with both teams knowing what to stay. Got tired legs out there, running out of energy as we come towards the final whistle. And it seems as though we're set. Go on, Robertson, went in, mate. It seems like we're set for extra time, possibly pens, which I really don't want. Save Castells. Best chance of the game. Weaker left foot. Got it on target, but couldn't hit the back of the net. Our, our, our three competitions FA Cup, Carabao Cup, and Carabao Cup again, our last three, we've been knocked out by on pens with Liverpool. I think it's going to happen again. We lost out of the Carabao Cup last 16 this year by Newcastle on pens, and last year the semi of both the Carabao Cup and the FA Cup on pens as well. I think it's going to happen again. 30 more minutes, but Liverpool can't avoid penalty shoots at heartbreak in domestic cup football. I can see it happening already. Kimi, just possessed by Robertson. Oh, great turn. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, no, John St Oh, oh. to take off Cody Gagpo the full time whistle because the man was exhausted no energy whatsoever and what did I say at the start of the season to Felix bro I know you're a backup striker here despite wearing a number 9 you always will be second fiddle to Mr Gagpo but when the time comes I'll call your name I'll call your number and you can call your own number <sighs> Felix Athena Jan might lead us to the FA Cup final. Stones has to be careful here with Felix running at him. Oh, okay, it's fine. There's Nuno. Oh, Nuno, no, four pass. He's taking running. Play for Ref. And cleared away. But it's not enough time. Just saw, just saw the, the, the time. It's not enough time. It's over. Come on. No shootout tonight. We are through. Three times in a row we've been knocked out on penalties. I was not letting it happen again. Felix Athena Jan off the bench to be the unlikely hero and win it to get uh, win the game for us. Liverpool are into their first domestic cup final in the Doxy Boy era. We scrape through in extra time. Come on. Man, oh man, oh man. That was as tense as it gets. And Cody took him off, man. He wouldn't have been happy about it. But I said, bro, you're exhausted out there. Seriously, I'll play you any longer. I'll be worried you pull your me, But, uh, come on. Massive, massive, massive. And the, the treble dreams might have gone, but the double dreams are definitely still on. And who will we face in the final then? Epic Cup final, Chelsea or Crystal Palace? I'm going to assume the former...
It's not. It's the latter. Crystal Palace overcome Chelsea for their second domestic cup final in two years. They won the Carabao Cup last year by knocking out us in the semis and beating our former team both in the final. They go for their second in a row, this time the FA Cup. We've got history against these guys. Palace in the final. And I'll do it for today's episode, guys. So massive thank you for watching. I really hope you have enjoyed it. And if you have enjoyed today's tense episode of the Realistic Rumor, then please do drop a like. Uh, much love to you all. Have a fantastic day. I'll return in the next one with all of our remaining six Premier League games as we we'll split the season finale into two parts. We'll wrap up the Premier League and see if we can hold on to the top spot. Four points clear of both Chelsea and Arsenal with two games in hand on the Gunners. And win back to back Premier League titles the first time in Liverpool history and save the FA Cup final final for the part two of the season finale if you will have a great day guys much love and i'll see you for part one of a two-part season finale with liverpool chasing a domestic double very soon